we're going to show you all the gadgets in the game. Except for maybe Jackie. Mmm, it's an orange juice. Now, before we get into any of the gadgets, we interrupt this video for a very important service announcement. I am once again asking for your support to use code OJ. So gadgets are very interesting. We're going to start off with Shelly. She has three down there. When you use it, it has about a five second cooldown. I believe this should be for every single gadget in the game. Once you use it, you can't use it while it's still cooling down. For Shelly, she dashes forward roughly about three tiles based on the direction that she's facing. You can't control it like you can with a regular attack. Once you use all three gadgets, they will not replenish in the game. Every time you start a new game, you'll get three gadgets. They're a little bit easier to unlock. You get them after level seven and they start unlocking boxes. I've been told that they're gonna be more common than star powers. A couple other important things to know about gadgets is that power play will not require gadgets to play. Friendly rooms have a setting to disable gadgets that you use in the matches. It's gonna be for very competitive matches that just won't allow the gadgets because it could potentially break the game. If your gadget deals damage, it's a damage dealing gadget, it will not charge supers. We have Nita's gadget. This one's very interesting. The bear stomps and stuns everything. I think it even stuns the attacks. Let's see. Oh, definitely, it definitely stunned the attack on that, that little fellow there. So that's Nita's gadget. Her bear will stomp the ground and slow down enemies. We have Colt's gadget and it's pretty straightforward. It recharges two bullets when you use it. You can use it three times. It's like every other gadget in the game. So you can, it's basically a spam fest. I'm gonna use it there. It's gonna charge two bullets there. Use my super, charge the gadgets, use my super again. It's just a spam fest of supers that deal a lot of damage if you, your enemy has 100,000 health and he's stationary. And you love using auto-aim, but that's not the case. There's not going to be a lot of enemies that are going to be a bot in training cave. Basically, it's six free bullets for when you really, really need it. Did I mention there's a new loading screen with the soccer screen and the shellies and the... Daryl. Next up, we have a very exciting brawler. He heals 1500 health. That's not very exciting, but it's pretty average. You can't really spam it, so it's not going to be too, too crazy. But I imagine the cooldown is going to be too long to really, really use twice in a row. But let's find out anyways. That max needs to go away because I need to be at full health right now. I'm going to heal up and see how far I can really charge. I, I have the shield star power, so... Uh, that did nothing. I brought down the siege to 68% though. Holy heck, 32% down from the Ike? That is backdoor material. That is beautiful. All right, so we're changing it up just a little bit. We have the Berserker star power to see if that can deal more than 32%. If we can get a perfect run, that's gonna be great. Charge into the Ike right there. No, same thing. It only gets three bullets. It doesn't matter what star power you have or what star power you don't have because it looks like nothing really changed there. 32% on the Ike with a backdoor. You can probably backdoor with two other really good teammates. Impressive. Next up, we have Jesse's star power. And it's kind of the turret that shocks everything within that area. Now, is he going to reveal stuff in the grass? But imagine this. Let's say someone's hiding in the grass there. Oh, it's totally going to shock people in the grass. Next up, we have Brock. This one's a very cool one. I think it's very exciting because there's going to be a lot of different potential plays for this because mobility seems to be really good mechanics in the game. You can escape and deal damage. 500 damage to be precise. 500 damage that does not charge your super, by the way. Oh, no. You have El Primo that's stuck on you. Boom. You knock him back. Use your super and you just fricked up an El Primo that was all up in your grill that was going to take you out. So you've got Dynamite's dynamite stick that deals 1120 damage but you have his spinning sticks it deals 700 damage each and there are about 12 of them uh, there's a lot more wow there are that was a lot there's exactly that many wow so i am kind of curious how this is going to work is it going to deal any damage if there's a bot or any any brawlers in the center no it's not no damage interesting that bot came out unscathed with 100k health that's a lot of sticks that's guaranteed damage across the whole map. That is hard to avoid. Holy heck. Next up, we have Bo's totem gadget. Now, it's kind of interesting because in this little radius, you can charge your super from 0 to 100 in about 20 seconds. And it can seem kind of OP, but it's only got 1,000 health and it disappears if you activate another one. And the radius is pretty small, so you can't really abuse it too much. It's not going to be great for brawlers like El Primo, but I imagine in situations like tick where you have a bounty match with layer cake you could probably shoot six different ulties there not including the 
all the bombs that Tick is going to hit from all of his turtling. He's going to hit a lot of targets there. Imagine just getting six free bombs from Tick. This is kind of fun. I can imagine it being really good, especially for brawlers that have star powers that are hard to charge like Tara, but you're confined to this one space. I can really only see snipers and throwers utilizing this. Speaking about Tick, we have Tick and his gadget is like Shelly's, but better. He dashes roughly three tiles just like Shelly, but he poops out one bomb. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> it deals a lot less damage though. Each of his normal bombs deals 900. These ones, when he poops it, it only deals 700. And it seems to have the same radius as his regular bombs. Next up, you have 8-Bit's gadget. He can teleport to this turret, but once he teleport into the turret, it destroys itself. So let's say you want to go in bounty. You want to grab a star. Oh, you got to hide. You're back in safety. So this does have a bit of a range. You see the turret is at the very bottom there. It's about a 13 tile range. Once you're out of range, you can't activate it. Turret is too far. Oh no. Oh, Primo's there. I'm back in safety. This is great. I actually kind of like this turret. I don't know how I feel about sacrificing a whole turret though. It takes a while to charge your super, but man, that is fun. That opens up a lot of opportunities for Brawl Ball or even... Ah, I didn't have my turret up. I couldn't teleport away. I'm going to place my turret there and see if I can put myself in danger oh the frank thinks he's got me i don't think so i feel pretty safe knowing that i can teleport into that turret right now come at me frank come at me no nope. <laughs> oh this is great that's 8 bits teleportation i can imagine putting the turret in a hole and just getting stuck in it that'd be great ems has a really cool one because let's say an el primo got too close Get off! Back off! Get your own sandwich! And you activate your super, and you're still within safe distance. Oh no! You got too close again? Push him back! Looks like there's a bit of cooldown, but it does deal a little bit of damage, so there's that going on. I guess the third one didn't push him back because the bot was already on the wall. Then we have El Primo's star power. This one's very cool because in the Brawl Talk, I didn't quite understand what was going on. I thought it was like a jump or something, but it's the exact opposite. It throws units behind him. Woohoo! Let's say you, you got to jump in. You got to throw someone backwards. You throw him backwards towards your teammates. You wipe him out. It is a little bit harder to aim because he throws backwards. And sometimes you're a little bit off. See, what? You saw that here first. I was facing upwards. Fully expecting him to throw downwards. But he, he went that way. That This is unpredictable. I don't know about this gadget. You can't really control it. Earlier on, I tried controlling the direction of it, but it just didn't quite work. I think this gadget is going to be very hard to control, but it's going to be fun to throw people. Short time. Barley's gadget drops a sticky concoction, making brawlers slower. Ah, so it's kind of like Spike Super, except he he just splooshes it out from on top of him. Does it slow down attack? Probably not. Looks about the same. Poco's gadget paired with Decapo is going to be so, so good. He already heals his allies with his regular attacks. And then when you activate this in that radius, for the next five seconds, he's going to heal 500 for a total of 2,500. Look at that go. By the time it's over in the five seconds, his gadget is ready to be used again. Back to back to back. You could use this gadget three times in a row coupled with Bull and Frank for those scores. Just walk in those scores. That's going to be so broken. This is going to be great. Rosa's gadget is permanent. She's going to just plop out grass on underneath from her. Bloop. She's going to heal in that grass too, obviously, with her star power. It's going to be amazing. Maybe you, you want to hide. You got to engage with the bots. I'm going to put it right on top of him. Look at that. I'm healing while fighting. That's overpowered. But you can only use it three times. But imagine if you had like a hidden path and you just put it on top of the safe and everyone just didn't know and just walked past you. That'd be funny. Rico's got a pretty cool one. It, it just bounces everywhere. There's about 10 of them. Now, how much how much damage is this going to do right on top of a big butt? Ooh, about 7,500. What if you angle it differently? About right about there. Uh, about the same effect. Oh, this is going to be massive damage. Ooh, it pierces too because it's a super. Get that everywhere. Get it. Work it. All right. I'm very curious if this is going to deal any damage image on the safe okay they're busy now they're occupied careful careful in the center that hit box is pretty small though uh it's kind of underwhelming daryl's is very interesting too in spirit of his rolling nature let's see you gotta roll in bum 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 oh wow look at that that dealt a lot of damage let's show you how it actually looks like it can hit everyone at least once. That's like impossible to dodge. And that's how you scout in hidden areas. The boss has a way bigger hitbox than the safe does. So I'm pretty sure if I can line this up just, just right. right, right, right. Six, 7,000 damage. This is only going to work for the big boss because he's got a really big hitbox. 
7,000 still, dang it. Alright, let's see the real damage. I uh, feel like it's more for a scouting and maybe getting a final hit on someone. So I was right! Penny's gadget does deal damage. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it right there. It's gonna break the walls, and it's gonna deal 1,500 damage to that bot and knock it back, and activate her star power. Look at that. It's a self-destruct button. That's actually pretty value right there. Boom, 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 boom. You want that to self-destruct on an Ike. So this is gonna be very useful if you need to self-destruct it really quickly. Let's say you don't have any time. You need to self-destruct it immediately before anything's in range. Guaranteed 23% damage on the safe, especially if you need to backdoor. That is money in the bank right there. Come on, just bring it down 23%. That's all we need. That's all I ask. All right, it's down. That's it. That's the finisher move. Boom, boom, boom. I think that's too much power for Penny paired with her star power. So Carl leaves a trail of dust and it deals 300 damage per second to the enemies. Oh, look at that. It stacks. If you're stepping on two of them, it stacks. However, if you're not moving, it doesn't spawn any. So I'm going to activate it. No damage because I didn't move. But let's say I move on top of it and I, I can get a couple on there. They kind of stack in a sense if you kind of overlap. Piper's is pretty straightforward. It snipes four people really fast. The nearest target, four shots, each one dealing 400. However, if you shoot your attack, it interrupts it. Huh, interesting, hey? That's an extra 1600 damage that's pretty much free if you're facing an El Primo. You need a little boom boom and you don't have your super yet. So Pam has a healing one. It heals 1200 per pulse, but you have to be in turret range. Instant 1200 heal. Well, you couldn't really tell from there because I was a full health. Let's activate that again. Boom. It's like Poco's, but a little bit more restricting. It, it does deal more burst heal, 1200 heal versus his 500 over 5 seconds. 500 times 5 is still 2500 on Poco's. Though. I'm, in my opinion, Poco's is better, but certain situations are going to require certain burst heals. Frank's star power grants him a little bit of an immunity for 3 seconds, but a, a really wicked... Ah! Look at that. Dealt damage to the Frank. And he didn't stun me. Well, he dealt damage, but he didn't stun me. That's what I meant. This could potentially be pretty good for a Brawl Ball. Paired up with uh, his 10,000 health star power. Let's say I do that. I need to walk it in. I activate it. I'm immune to stuns, and I just have to walk it in. Broken Supercell! Is it really? It's very specific, but you can only use it three times. So with BBs, it's pretty straightforward. She heals a little bit. 600 damage, but it doesn't stack. This one has a cooldown. It's, it stays grayed out, unlike the other star powers. So you can't spam this one specifically. But it does heal 600 every second. 600 over 4 seconds, 2400 health. B's gadget is very similar to Barley's, where she just kind of plops out her earnings of honey. Oh, wow, it's a turret. That is, this is not similar at all. This is better than his. It's infinite, too. And it seems that it's going to stay around forever. And it stacks. If you cast the second one, the first one goes down to 1 health. However... If you cast the third one, both of them explode. If you get stuck in the honey, you get slowed down. Mortis is pretty straightforward, just like we saw in Brawl Talk. He does spinny whirlwind damage, kind of like Carl's, except it's only one spin. One big whirlwind. And it deals 1300 damage. Normally, if you're a Mortis player, you're going to know that if with one super and three attacks, he's going to deal 5040 health. But with this one, he's going to deal 5740 health. So it's like boom, boom, boom. Use your super, spin around. Wait, the spin does 1300 damage. My calculation threw off. He's going to deal 7000 damage to the all. He can deal 7000 damage instantaneously. Maybe I need to spin. I need to use my super. I need to spin around and just deal a lot of damage to a lot of these bots there. Oh, I'm out of spins, that was it. So you can pretty much assassinate everyone at 7,000 health. Tara's star power, though. This one is broken for five seconds. You can reveal the entire map's grass for five seconds. Holy heck. Snake Prairie. That was great. Oh, no. Where's the Piper? Doesn't matter. There she is. Boom. Boom. Headshot. Headshot. Are they all headshots, though, in Brawl Stars? Look at that. Freaking broken. All right, well, um, I used up everything. <laughs> That's it. Use them sparingly. Another one that comes to mind is maybe not by herself, but if she had another partner in Cavern. Cavern. Need to reveal everything? I'm good. Look at that. Oh, there's a max there? I don't think so. Oh, that didn't help me. Gene's got a pretty nifty one, too. Pushes back enemies and heals himself 1,000. 
That is bonkers. Maybe I, I want to be aggressive on this uh, Rosa that's hiding in the bushes. What did that Max just do? Oh no, push him back, heal 1000. Oh no, Rosa, do not chase me. Ah! That's Gene Star Power pushes everyone back in that small radius. Max's star power is similar to Tix and Shelly's in that she can dash forward, but she's immune to everything during that entire dash. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kick this upwards. I'm gonna dash forward and we're gonna score it in. Beautiful. I just wanna rush in right now. Whoo, we were immune for that very brief second. It reminds me of uh, Daryl's super. This one is very interesting. He buffs his porter by 150 damage and 1500 health. Forever. Until it dies. Let's put the porter in the back and then we're gonna supercharge that one little penguin boy. Get him. Penguin boy, you got it. That just wrecked that, uh, that M's. So the next one that spawns is not going to be buffed up. You can't cast the gadgets if you, if you have the ball. We're gonna buff him up and heals it at full health. I was not expecting that. Spikes is pretty nifty. Boom, boom, boom. There's about 12 spikes in every direction, direction or are they 10 spikes? I don't know, but uh, obviously this bot has a really big hitbox. That was like 20,000 damage. I have a feeling this is gonna be very good for this for the heist safe. This is gonna be like barley beta all over again. He's gonna be able to three shot the safe. Careful, right in the center. Boom, boom, boom. 30% right off the bat. I am very set on taking out the safe with this. There is a five second cooldown though, so I gotta line myself up. Stay in that danger. Come on, just one more, just one more. Just, 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 In three attacks, single-handedly took out the safe. Wow. It takes it out like 20-30% every time. The downside is that you have to be right in the center and you have to not move while his spikes pulsate outwards because there's more than just one. I could see a lot of potential for that one because you it's like you never ignore a bull. You never want to ignore a spike walk past you now because it will three-shot your safe. Crows is a little bit more tame. He has a 60% shield over three seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Eh. It's it's not the funnest, but it is strategically decent. Leon clones himself. This gadget is really cool. He doesn't it doesn't attack and it dies immediately. It doesn't actually have 4400 health. But but picture this. So we make them think that we broke our invisibility, walk into the grass and they come out. But surprise, you were on the other side the whole time. Sandy's is very cool. I like how interesting and unique this one is. It's a, it's a little bit creative. They have a lot of heal ones, but Sandy's gonna fall asleep for two seconds and heal full health. Can't move, but if that was full health right there. This gives me an idea. I feel like it heals, it doesn't heal 5,000 health. It heals, it puts you at full health after the two seconds. So basically, I just have to uh, survive. Oh, right. I thought I was going to abuse it and be at full health twice. It makes sense. You're only at full health once. And it only fully heals you after the two seconds. If I can even survive that two seconds. Nope. All right, one more time. I'm going to tank this bot. I'm going to activate my power. There we go. We're at full health. Tank the bot. Was it worth it to tank the bot for siege? Probably. Sandy's very good in siege. That's going to be it for everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be every single gadget in the game. Again, huge thank you to everyone for supporting the channel. If you use code OJ right now, by the time the update rolls around, you're going to have the code active because it does expire every seven days in case you forget for that. Maybe it doesn't have to be me. Maybe it's code Kairos, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ.